Can you believe it? I'm back. I'm still alive. Thanks to you who actually emailed me and sent me messages wanting to know how I was and how I was healing from my surgery earlier in the year. Um, I'm fine. And um, basically what happened was I, I ha actually I had the surgery quite a while ago, uh, skin cancer. Uh, for golly knows how many times. And uh, that was uh, a little bit of an ordeal only because it was um, on my face, on my nose, and it was uh, cauterized. So it took six weeks to, to heal. So that was the care and all of that was a little involved. But healed up great. I just had a surgery last week, just a few, actually a few days ago, uh, on my head found another uh, basal cell carcinoma that was actually scooped out and cauterized and that seems to be healing well. So uh, most important thing to learn from that is I lived in California for 35 years and never used sunscreen and worked out in the sun for years. So please, 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 please always use sunscreen. Lesson learned, hard one, believe me. Second thing, uh, I bought a motorcycle in uh, mid-June, had been riding all recreation, recreationally uh, since then, put on like over 9,000 miles, uh, did an 800-mile trip down to southern uh, Virginia with my son-in-law. We both bought bikes at the same time. So that's been a blast. And all this time, I've been meaning to do another video. And uh, here I am doing another video. Just like I told you in the last one, I was going to do a simple comparison with three Sopranos. Now, um, what we're going to do, just, just a real simple one, four, five chord progression in G, C, and then a D seventh, just so you can hear. And maybe you've been playing ukulele for years or maybe you just bought one yesterday, or maybe you haven't even bought one, and you would like to know, hey, these are all different, you know, costs maybe, and different woods, and what's the difference? That's really the purpose of you doing this. There's gonna be three of them. There's gonna be this one. This is the Enya. This is the HPL. That's a high pressure laminate. Then there's going to be my, my, my personal favorite, the Kala which is a solid spruce top with a laminated maple, spalted maple back and sides. I love this wood combination and uh, Kala builds a great uke. And then I'm gonna play a mahogany, all solid mahogany Ohana. All of these are soprano scales. So um, what I will do down here is I will give you all the links to the reviews. I'm not doing reviews on them. I've done that, which will tell you a lot more about the actual uh, ukulele. But this is just really a sound comparison because they do all sound different and unique. So this is the uh, Inya HPL. This is the uke that you would buy if you have a tendency to travel, to go outside, to go from various temperatures, hot, cold, hot, cold, etc., this would be perfect for that. This thing will stand up. This is the one I've taken, you know, to the uke jam or whatever. So because it is high pressure laminate, it's not as sensitive to temperature change. So. So we're gonna do the Kala. The bookends are the Inya and the Ohana are a satin finish. This is a gloss finish. 
<laughs> Does that sound just a, a tad different? That's because of the spruce and the maple. It's all in the wood. Much, much brighter sound. So you can see what a difference the woods make. Now this is the Ohana. This is all solid wood. This is mahogany. This is uh, obviously a, a Martin copy from many years ago. And if you go through all my videos, I've, I've done reviews on Martins and S1s and, and all that stuff. So you can see, totally, totally different. So what I want to do is, at least you're hearing it this way from the mic, but I'm hearing it this way. And I mean, as soon as I picked up that collar, I was like, holy smokes, what a difference. So quickly, let's uh, just do, I'll just do a little bit of, on each one of the Amazing Grace. Just so you can hear the, uh, the single note in Stuman order. Cost-wise, these are this one's much cheaper. I can't remember exactly. I'll put the reviews down there. You can check them all out. Uh, those two are, are somewhat similar. I tend to play this one the most. The main reason is, well, I just like the tone. I like a little brighter uke as a rule. The tuners, as you'll see in the review, on the Ohana are very difficult. This one's got the geared seal tuners and it's just so much easier. Does that ever happen to you when you play? You play the song a hundred times and all of a sudden your brain freezes. I was like, what? I played that song more times than I can remember. Somewhere on YouTube in the uke thing, I've actually done that whole thing with a chord melody and explained all that. So we'll try this again. They all sound, uh, I would say they all sound good, but they all sound very distinct. They have a distinct sound. So uh, I hope that helps a little bit as far as, hey, I want to spend less than a hundred bucks on an Enya, or I want to go to, you know, 
250 or 300 on the other two, what's the difference? How are they going to sound? Hopefully that was, as I was playing on them, especially in strumming, very, very unique tone to each one. So listen to that. Look at the reviews. All the links will be there. Uh, please, please, please uh, do me a favor on um, the Uke blog and especially on YouTube. Uh, like, uh, subscribe if you're not. I've picked up a ton of subscribers uh, but need more. So like, subscribe. And uh, another thing, a lot of uh, YouTube people, I watch a lot of YouTube, they don't talk much about the sharing. Share that this video uh, with other people, but especially like and subscribe. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, all's well on this end. It's raining. They're going to be talking a little bit of snow on Wednesday. I live in the Mid-Atlantic in Virginia, so um, uh, not much uh, riding of the motorcycle. Uh, I do ride when it's cold, but not when it's literally freezing, raining, or snowing, obviously. And um, that's a great thing about music and the uke. It's uh, down here in the cave, so uh, always available for playing. So I hope you're all doing well. Uh, I'm doing this video in uh, early December. So uh, if I don't get another one done before Christmas, I hope you all have a great Christmas. Safe, safe holidays, please. And a great new year and especially a safe new year. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.